Authorities in Turkey, Egypt, and Somalia are looking for more suspects in a trio of terrorist attacks over the weekend. And there are mounting concerns tonight that the violence could be coming our way. National Security Correspondent Jennifer Griffin is tracking the investigations tonight from the Pentagon. Good evening, Jennifer. Good evening, Brett. New York Senator Chuck Schumer is calling on the Department of Homeland Security to require rail and transit agencies to screen its employees against federal ter terrorism watch lists, something they were supposed to have done 10 years ago. That request, after a wave of bombing, struck three capitals this weekend within a matter of hours. At 7.30 a.m. on Sunday morning in Cairo, a suicide bomber blew up in the women's section of St. Mark's Cathedral, Egypt's main Orthodox Coptic church. The target Christians as they prayed, 25 killed, 49 wounded during Sunday Mass. Egypt's president blamed a 22-year-old detained in 2014, accused of belonging to the Muslim Brotherhood at the time. They have been trying to break us for the last three years, hitting our economy and with a wave of terrorist attacks, but they know nothing will break us. Hours earlier in Turkey, a car bomb and a suicide bomber killed 44 people, 36 of them anti-riot police outside an Istanbul stadium where a high-profile soccer match was being played. The Turkish government blamed the Kurdistan Workers' Party, or PKK, but arrested more than 200 Kurdish political opponents in 11 cities across Turkey today. They should know that they will not get away with this. We will not let them get away with this. They will pay a bigger price. They better be aware. In Mogadishu, Somalia, a car bomb targeting local police blew up Sunday morning outside the port, killing at least 20 people. The attack was thought to be the work of al-Shabaab, an al-Qaeda affiliate that has previously recruited Somali immigrants from Minnesota in the past. Today in France, police arrested 11 people thought to have helped the truck driver who killed 86 people in Nice this summer, a terror attack claimed by ISIS. Brett. Jennifer Griffin, live at the Pentagon. Jennifer, thank you.